Now, we've got a fun way to learn division. Our example problem is 12 divided by 4. How do we solve this? What are we going to do? 12 divided by 4 means how many groups of 4 are there in 12? I'll show you. This 12 represents each of the blue circles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. This divided by 4 means separate 12 into groups of 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Next, count each group. One group here. Another group here. And another group. How many groups do we have? One plus one plus one equals three. The answer is three. Another example. 7 divided by 2. This 7 represents how many blue circles there are. This divided by 2 means separate 7 into groups of 2. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. Next, count each group. One group here. Another group here. And another group here. This is not a full group. This is part of a group. How are we going to write this? This one, we're going to put right here on top. And here, in the denominator, this has to be a full group. And a full group has two in it. So we'll put that there in the denominator. Now, add them all up. 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 half equals 3 and 1 half. The answer is 3 and 1 half. We're finished. Another example. 14 divided by 3. This 14 represents how many blue circles there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. This divided by three means separate fourteen into groups of three. One, two, three, One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three.
Next, count each group. One group. Another group. Another group. and another group. This is not a full group. This is part of a group. How are we going to write this? These two we're going to put here. And the denominator must be a full group. A full group that measures 3. We're going to put that right here in the denominator. Next, add them all up. 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 thirds equals 4 and 2 thirds. The answer is 4 and 2 thirds. And we're finished. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Now, watch more math videos.